what do we need to do to create a company code in SAP? We first navigate to the transaction code OX02. That's OX02. And here you can see that SAP already provides a bunch of standard company codes that we can utilize for our own purposes. This means that normally we do not create a new company code from scratch for our new entries, but what we would normally do is we would take one existing template, which is already delivered by SAP, for instance, um, US01 for the US, and then we click on copy as. Because in the end, behind this company code and the definement or definition of the company code, there are a bunch of dependent tables. And we want all those tables to be created or populated in the background, and this is why we normally not create from scratch, but via this copy as functionality. And here we can now adjust the settings to our needs. So first of all, there is the company code. This is the ID, a four-digit alphanumeric key. For instance, let's say ABC1, it really doesn't matter. Um, and then the company name, this would be up to 25 characters. Let's say, yeah, test company code, for instance, and then you can see that there is additional data we can fill. So first of all, the city where our company yeah, is located in, let's say yeah, test city, city like that. Then we have the country US, this is fine. The currency, this is the local currency of our company code and all other currencies are then referred to as the foreign currencies. And we got the language. The language key itself indicates the language in which texts are displayed and also the language in which we enter texts and the language in which the system prints those texts. And this is basically it. Just yeah, simply click on enter again on our keyboard and you can see we can now also include more detailed address data. So for instance, a search term to search for the company, then the precise street and house number where the company is located, the postal code, city, country, and so on. We can fill out of this information as well as PO box for the US and also communication data over here. And then once this is done, let me just insert the country as this is mandatory. You can see number of entries copied one. And if I would then click here on save, I just need to confirm this customizing request and then yeah, the company code has already been established. Yeah, and this company code we can assign to various other organizational units, so to say. And one of the most important ones would be the company. So not the company code, but the company. Therefore, we open transaction code OX15. And over here, you can see that there are already some companies created in the system, which consists of an alphanumeric key over here, company name and name too, if, if needed. And for your reference, the company itself is nothing else than the smallest organizational unit for which individual financial statements can be drawn according to the relevant commercial law. And one company can consist of one to n company codes, meaning that once we define the company code or company codes and the company, we can assign the company codes to the company. This is what we will see next. All of those company codes within a company, they must use the same chart of accounts and the same fiscal year breakdown. The currencies of the individual company codes which are assigned to one company, they can differ because the company itself will also have an own currency. The company itself is used for consolidation purposes. So when we are talking about yeah, a complex, let's say enterprise with a bunch of subsidiaries, then the company will be used to create the financial statements according to the group. What I can do over here is double click on this button and here you can see for the company we can insert more details, also a street, PO box, postal code, city, those kind of location information, the country, the language and most importantly the currency. As I said before, the company itself has also an own currency and all the company codes we map to this, to this company, there it doesn't matter if those company codes mapped have different currencies. Yeah, and last but not least, once we created both the company code or company codes and the company, we need to assign them to each other. So meaning that 
I will go to transaction code OX60. You can see that I can now here assign a company to one or N of those company codes. So for instance, I could assign a company one to this one over here and this one as well and many more, depending on the requirements I've listed before.